With the new RAID added, I have been getting a lot of questions regarding double slug as well as quick swapping. In this video, I will explain to you how to quick swap as well as break down the damage of using double slugs. If you already know how to quick swap and just care about damage values, go to the timestamp in the description. Now that's out of the way, let's get on with it. Quick swapping, or sprint swapping, is the act of swapping weapons while sprinting in order to cancel the weapon swap animation. For this demonstration, I'll be using a key monitor software located in the top left of my screen. The first thing you want to do is hold down your aim down sights button. You want to be holding this the entire time. Then, while holding your aim key, sprint forward and then stop. Repeat this a few times until you've gotten the muscle memory down. Next, we will implement the swap. During your sprint, swap to whatever weapon you want, and then cancel the sprint. Your weapon should be there and already scoped in. Practice this for a while because this will be the main action the entire time. Once you have it down, try going faster and faster until it looks like you are hardly moving. The final step is to add the shooting part. After every swap, you want to shoot one shot immediately and swap to your next weapon. You are limited by the fire rate of your weapon, so do not shoot too quickly or swap too fast. Once you have this down, you can do this with any weapon in the game that you can scope in with. If this is all you came for, good luck with the slugging. Now let's break down the double slug. For this, you will need an energy slug and a kinetic slug shotgun. The best in slot for the energy will be the first in, last out from last season, due to its increased magazine size and its ability to give Vorpal weapon. For the kinetic, we will use the new raid weapon, Heritage, with the new perks, Reconstruction and Recombination. I do not have these perks on mine, but they do increase the DPS combo depending on how you use them. The only perk that is borderline necessary for this combo is a magazine perk, Assault Mag. It will increase the rate of fire of the slugs up to 70 RPM, resulting in a direct DPS increase. And as far as damage testing goes, I'll be using this dummy loss sector on Nessus just to keep things similar with others around the community. On this guy, with Philo, you hit for 26,881, and with Heritage, you hit for 24,543. Now these numbers are pretty impressive by themselves, but if you pair them together, you can see that it takes 4.92 seconds to shoot a full magazine of each, 6 shots of Philo and 6 shots of Heritage does a total damage of 308,544 divided by the time it took and we get the burst DPS of 62,712. Now there are a lot of factors that go into this number such as how fast I am swapping weapons, or how fast I am shooting. What I'm trying to say is that this number is not a very consistent value, and can be changed with the skill level of the user. As far as perfection goes, I would say that this DPS number could climb as high as 64 to 66,000, which in normal person terms is quite a lot. This number can also be inflated even higher due to both of these weapons being legendary. We can now add an Anarchy, which hits for about 151,000 damage in 10.4 seconds, for a DPS of 14,547. We can add this to the combo to get a final DPS value of 77,259, which is absolutely insane. I hope this video helped you understand the mechanics of double slugging and how incredible this can be. I will now play a full DPS rotation in the new raid, which will hopefully clear up some confusion on how to do so. If you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or message me on my Discord. My link is in the description.